Hey coffee connoisseurs, what's up? Josh here from Alternative Brewing, and today we have the review of the Option O Legom Mini Grinder using the Moonshine Burps. And certainly we'll be touching on those soon enough. I am shocked at how compact this automatic grinder is, next to something like the very small already Varia VS3 for example. It is surprisingly smaller. But don't let size comparisons fool you here. This grinder showcases a premium build and can grind for espresso and filter coffee. And I also want to put stalling rumors to rest right away. It's certainly not the case with this 240 volt model. And we're about to dive in and check the specs and the performance in a moment. However, to precede this, whilst I don't have any message for a sponsor of this video, I would love it at any point in this video if you're fully engaged and you're nodding away to the helpful and insightful information about this grinder, perhaps you instinctively go then and tap that like button to show your appreciation and even subscribe if you wanna see more because then we're probably more likely to bring more content out. I think I've said enough, let's carry on. Every component of the Legom Mini is crafted with two words in mind, durable and intuitive. From the hopper lid to the catch cup and body, it's an all metal construction, all except the removable finger guard in the bean chute. And magnets play a huge role in the Legom Mini, where the hopper lid and the catch cup snap in and slide into place, and this provides that premium feel for the workflow. There is an easy to adjust stepless grind adjustment and an almost negligible grinder chute, so retention is of little concern. And say goodbye to wasting precious single origin beans on purging. This grinder minimizes coffee waste and ensures every time you grind, it's fresh and full of flavor. And along with this, the Legon Mini boasts impeccable grind consistency using what's now become default for the Legon Mini, which are 48 millimeter conical moonshine burrs. Moonshine referring to Optiono's own in-house design and finish. These burrs have been closely compared to that of Comandante's famous C40 Nitro Blade burrs for the shape and the design of the burr. And it seems fitting that the Legom Mini has that title of the perfect upgrade from a hand grinder, though I kind of do feel like that's underselling its capabilities as it is much more than that. I do get though where the name mainly comes from the capacity of this grinder, which is about the same as a hand grinder. Also the duty cycle. You're not going to be grinding a lot of coffee on this. Rather, you shouldn't be grinding any more than say three to 400 grams day max, and certainly not trying to grind all of that at once. This is a small grinder for single dosing beans. So treat it much like you would a hand grinder within that respect. Now the best summary I have from tasting coffee on the Legom Mini for a few weeks now is that its flavor profile is that of a low RPM conical grinder. Shock and horror, right? But what this means is that it will produce coffee with a good amount of body and texture, as a lot of conical grinders do, but with low RPMs, it still has that ability to generate low fines within the grinds distribution, this being more so for filter coffee, so it can create bright, sweet, and juicy cups. So it is that jack of all trades grinder without compromising too much body for the acidity and sweetness within the espresso. Now with this stepless and very smooth grind adjustment, you turn that 30 gram hopper anti-clockwise to go from fine to coarser. There are 50 marks on a full rotation with every fifth setting marked by a larger dot. This grinder will comfortably grind for all brewing methods from Turkish grinds, to espresso brewing, to mocha pot, to aeropress, to a fine pour over, to a Chemex, to French press, and cold brewing. All right, so this is the grind out test where we've grabbed 20 grams of espresso beans and we've got the grinder set for an espresso setting and we're just gonna grind this dose out and see how long it takes and how loud the grinder is. It is worth mentioning that the Legom Mini uses a DC motor as opposed to many larger grinders with AC motors. What this means specifically is that it comes with a large plug. Now, you might be willing to say that this does take away from the compact nature of this grinder. That's really up to you to decide. Let's grind some coffee. Start the clock.
pretty quiet. We're done. Now, in my experience over the last couple of weeks in using the Legon Mini is nothing but positive. There are really no flaws to this grinder that I can point out as being detrimental to the quality of brewing a good cup of coffee. It is super easy to dial in espresso. With this grind adjustment, it is really reliable. And possibly something that truly sets this grinder apart is the fact that it is so intuitive to use that even a coffee newbie can become a brewing maestro when using this grinder. It is designed for simplicity in mind, making it accessible to almost anybody, regardless of your prior knowledge to coffee brewing or coffee grinders. And on the fly, I've adjusted this grinder coarser to brew an AeroPress. Actually, I had a delicious uh, V60 yesterday, and this grinder has that ability to grind great at both ends of the spectrum. And it's that usability that makes it great. It is time though to take a moment and also address some of the limitations to the Gone Mini, remembering that of course no product is perfect and it is important to highlight these aspects to provide that balanced review. So let's dive into my cons. Firstly, I found that beans can occasionally get stuck up in the hopper chute on that finger guard. And this may require a bit of manual intervention. It is worth mentioning that it doesn't happen frequently and can be easily resolved. Another minor downside is that without using an RTD method, which is not included, and it's winter here at the moment, so it is quite dry, things can get a little messy under the catch cup, where you might find some stray coffee grounds that require a quick wipe down after each use. It isn't a deal breaker by any means, but it is worth noting. And one feature that the Legon Mini lacks is a grinds knocker. I had thought that maybe at the front of the chute here, that this was like a grinds knocker on a little spring and you can lift it up and knock it down, which it isn't. But its retention is not a huge factor, regardless of the Logon Mini not having a grinds knocker. And lastly, the catch cup, which is a nice design. However, it is quite deep, which can make cleaning it a little bit of a challenge. Like I can't even get my finger all the way to the bottom of it. However, honestly, given the exceptional grind quality and the performance of the Logon Mini, it is a trade-off and is just honestly just like a minor inconvenience in the whole grand scheme of things. It is also alleviated by how straightforward and easy this grinder is to clean and maintain, where you begin by unplugging the grinder and removing the hopper lid. Next, unscrew the hopper all the way coarse until this pops off and underneath this will be the bearing ring. You remove this and then you'll be able to lift out that upper burr carrier. Now, it isn't recommended to remove the burrs off the carriers, but you'll now have complete access to the burr chamber where you can give the grinder a full clean out, put it all back together again, and keep this grinder working for years to come. So here's the burning question. Should you invest in the Legon Mini? And without a doubt, it is a resounding yes. This grinder is a game changer for both the coffee newcomers and seasoned enthusiasts, where the value it brings to your daily brews is something you're going to look forward to because it is so easy to use. And to recap, the Legon Mini delivers exceptional grind consistency with remarkable and intuitive operation, and the fact that it has a compact form, it will fit seamlessly into any kitchen counter. Thank you so much for joining me today on the exciting Legon Mini journey. I hope you've enjoyed this review as much as I've enjoyed sharing it with you. And hey, if you're craving more coffee content, make sure to visit our website and follow us on social media as there is a whole world of delicious brew, brewing tips, and product reviews waiting for you. Once again, thanks again for being part of our coffee community and support to us means the world. So until next time, keep brewing, keep exploring, and as always, stay caffeinated. <laughs>